Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome to my reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Leo, this is a general reading. This will be for January 15th through the 31st, and my readings are timeless. So, when you see this reading is when you were meant to receive it. Okay, Leo. What energy do we have for Leo for January 15th through the 31st? We have change and progress. Okay, at the bottom we have meditation for creativity. So, you may be feeling more creative at the moment. You may be dealing with certain things. You may be into the arts. Um, you know, you may be doing something that's more creative. But I feel like you are maybe going through changes. You're progressing. You're expanding. You're growing in this month. Tell me more for Leo. Give me more for Leo. We have Cosmic Heart, Devotion, Potency, Make Your Life a Moving Prayer. Yeah, I feel like you're very inspired, Leo. You're very inspired to maybe look at your inner child. Um, look at the gifts that are around you, you know. I, I feel like there's something that you're doing that's really inspiring you to take some kind of action. Tell me more for Leo. Tell me more for Leo, please. We have believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. Definitely. Definitely. Un unleash your inner unicorn. That's your creative your creativity, your your inner nature, you know, um, allow unlimited abundance. And now, bun abundance can come in many forms. Abundance can come in the form of money, happiness, good health. This could also be the joy of being around your family. You know, some kind of create creative nature that's really making you inspired, very passionate, you know? I feel like you have the fire, you know? You're being very driven at the moment to accomplish something, to, you know, accomplish a certain goal. I feel like you're working very hard, Leo. Tell me more about Leo. What is Leo going through at the moment? January 15th through the 31st. What is coming in for Leo? The moon. Yeah, I feel... I'm really feeling like you're going through this time when you're changing direction. You're making some kind of changes in your life. And these aren't changes that are being pushed upon you. I feel like these are changes that you're intentionally making. You know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you're trusting your intuition, Leo. You're trusting that you're going to overcome any obstacles, any uh, challenges that you're going to face. I feel like you're believing that those obstacles, that they cha those challenges that you, you're facing or that are coming close to you, that the, in the answers are going to be provided to you. You have trust that, you know, you're going to see things through. I feel like the light is, is guiding you, you know. You're letting your inner being guide you. And I feel like it's making you more balanced. It's bringing you a lot of hope. I feel like this is your miracles in action. Tell me more for Leo. Okay. We have the Hermits and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so, you know, the, the Hermit, he's carrying the star. 
He's carrying the star in his lantern. The star is leading his way. The star is guiding him into his wisdom, into being enlightened. And I, I feel like because you're doing that, you're able to carry any burdens, any obstacles, any challenges. And I feel like you're carrying them with ease. You're, you're not being bothered by what's coming or what you have to go through to get there. I feel like you're being very strong. You're Leo the lion. You know what I'm saying? You're you're finding your strength through any situation. Wow. Okay. And we have the page of cups. Okay, Leo. If this is I feel like this is support coming in for you in whatever it is that you're doing. This also may be a love offer that's coming in for you. This is someone who is offering you some kind of love, some kind of new opportunity to love. This is someone stepping forward to you to kind of go on this journey with you. You know, I, I feel like you're standing out, Leo. You're like standing out from the crowd. You're shining your light. And I, as Leo likes to be, you know, I feel like you are the spotlight. You're shining your light very brightly with the hermit right next to the star. You know, the hermit's carrying the star. You know, come on. This is beautiful energy. And actually, the hermit is your current energy in the situation, you know? And I, I feel like you're where you thought you didn't have the answers before. I feel like you got them now. I feel like you're very spiritual at this time. You're finding that inner unicorn. And I feel like it's bringing a lot of passion. It's bringing a lot of creativity. I feel like it's moving you forward with a drive and inspiration that, you know, is, is moving you into this next phase of your life. I feel like you're very, you're, you're very much a free spirit. You know? Wow. Okay. And we have the Hierophant. So whatever this star is doing, whatever healing you're going through, you've learned the lesson. You're, you're learning how not to go through those situations again. You know, you're kind of, this also may be that you're, you know, doing something that's very traditional. But I feel like this is you learning from a situation. This may also be you becoming more attuned with your spiritual self. You know, I feel like you're shining your light on that spiritual side of you. You're finding the balance between you and that spiritual side. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So where this um, hermit was looking for clarity where this hermit was looking for some kind of personal truth i feel like you've mastered that you kind of gained the answers to those mysteries very interesting very interesting and i feel like you're enjoying it you're enjoying the journey Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, look at the Seven of Wands. Usually with the Seven of Wands, they're fighting. They're being defensive. He's not defensive any longer. He's kind of laying his sticks down. He's just, you know, he he's putting down his guard. And he's kind of relishing that he's victorious. He's already been through that battle. He's been through that competition. He won that sport. 
you know and I feel like that's how you're feeling right now you're feeling like you've mastered what it is that you need to master you're you're letting down your burdens you no longer have to defend what's what it is you're doing tell me more about this spirits yeah the six of cups so you know what with the six of cups i feel like there may be someone who wants a reunion with you you know i feel like maybe with this three of cups and the six of cups someone wants to come back someone wants to be reunited Someone wants to show you that they still care. They're still here for you. They still want to provide you with support. With, you know. With some kind of reunion. I feel like someone has been really thinking about you. Someone has been reminiscing. This also may be you reminiscing about a past love. Um, but I feel like someone wants a reunion. Someone wants you back, Leo. Someone is very sad that you got away. Definitely. With the Four of Cups. Someone feels unfulfilled now that you're not with them. Someone's been really thinking about you really daydreaming really deep in thought let's get a little bit more clarity on this situation Leo tell me more about this moon what is this moon situation for Leo tell me about this moon what is this moon the seven of seven of wands now look at this seven of wands and look at this seven of wands. You see how different they are. This one, this this seven of wands, this is still in competition. This is still someone battling for um, defending what it is that they're doing. This person is still protecting something, you know? And this person has laid down their wands. They're not protecting it no more. They're kind of, this is after the battle. This is after they've won. They, they're victorious. And I feel like with this moon card, I feel like you struggled for the answers. You struggled to be on the right path. You struggled to follow the right direction. And I feel like you, you're, you're meeting that with a lot of wisdom. You know, uh, tell me about this star card. The three of cups. So yeah, we have the Three of Cups again. So we have that twice as well. So 7-7 seven, seven, and 3-3 three, three may be very important for you. You may want to look at those synchronicities. But I feel like where this star has brought you a lot of healing, you also have support. You also have people around you who... Um, really care about you who are really holding you up um, they really care about the way that you're going you know this is your circle of support tell me about this hermit card what is this hermit card the seven of cups yeah what did I say seven sevens are very important for you I feel like with this hermit it's brought you a lot of opportunities I feel like the opportunities started to open up for you uh, this could also be you if this was a past person that's coming in I feel like this past person may have had commitment issues they may not have wanted to settle down the moment but they see you the way you are and it's just like so attractive so welcoming that they really want to give this another try they want to try Leo one more time you know to see where it goes tell me about this 
Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Ten of Wands spirit. Yeah, we have the Five of Wands. Someone feels incomplete without you. Look at this. He's carrying those wands. In this Ten of Wands, he's, you know, they're down. He, they're collapsed. He's let them go. So I feel like the Ten of Wands on the Ten of Wands, Ten Ten may be also very important for you. And Tens are completion. Um, tens are goals that have been achieved. You know, you're making full circle. You're going through some kind of, you're learning the lesson of the situation. And I feel like this person has definitely felt their lesson. Their wands has collapsed. Their wands have collapsed. They can't carry it on their own. And I feel like they they see that now. So if this is a love situation, I feel like this person isn't ready to be on their own. They want they want to be with you so that they so that you can support each other. So that you can help carry, you know, what life brings. I feel like this person definitely wants you back. Leo. Someone's coming in. What is this Three of Cups? Tell me about this Three of Cups situation. The King of Wands. Yeah. This person. <clears throat> oh, this is the Page of Cups. Yeah. The Page of Cups with the King of Cups. So, yeah, this person wants to give you some sort of message. They, they still find you so attractive, so, you know, powerful, so charming, so courageous. This person finds you so attractive at the moment. You're like, they, they don't want to be without you. They see you and they're just, you're like stuck in their mind. You're stuck in their thoughts, Leo. You have a lot of fire in this reading. So I feel like this is speaking right to your soul. You know, the person that you're dealing with may be a water sign. They may be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, but I feel like, you know, you have so much fire. So much fire. This person is so attracted to you. Tell me about this knight of wands what is this knight of wands for leo another 10 another 10 so yeah this person you like their fire you bring them a lot of happiness you also bring them a lot of abundance a lot of contentment they feel like their cup is full around you you know um they feel complete they feel like they've hit the jackpot with you next to them. I feel like this should be a love reading. No doubt. This is, this is definitely. I wasn't quite sure where this was going, Leo. But this is definitely love. And I feel like this person has learned a lot in this situation. This could be you that has learned a lot about someone else. But I feel like, I'm really feeling like this is someone else's intentions about you. Okay, with the Hierophant, we have the Knight of Wands. Definitely. Now look, we have the Knight of Wands here as well. So definitely, someone wants to rush back in. Someone wants to rush back into this situation. They're like, I learned my lesson. I learned so much about myself while we were separated. Now I want you back. Someone's rushing in with some sort of apology. Some sort of fire. Some sort of lust. You know? Um, they're being very assertive. This person may be very assertive when it comes to you. And they may not take no for an answer you know they want you back and they're going to try to win your heart in any way possible tell me about this eight of pentacles what is this eight of pentacles 
Yeah, another 10. Of course, we have 10, 10, 10, 10. This person who's coming in this message, this person feels so much in pain because you're not with them. They feel like, okay, I've mastered being without you now I want to feel what it feels like to be with you you know I feel like my world has ended because you're not around now this person just wants this new beginning with you they want to start over they want to start fresh you know what is the Seven of Wands spirit? The Six of Swords. So definitely. This person is moving on from protecting themselves. They're moving on from being in that defensive energy. They just want to feel calm and content. They want to move back into your life you see how usually with the six of wands the woman and the child are inside the boat they're moving into the new direction you know they're moving towards this island this woman and this child has already found the island and now they got off the boat this person wants to come back into your life so badly they want to enter your life, you know. They've moved through this situation. They've found what they needed to find out, and now they want you back. I'm not sure what they did, Leo, for this situation to end, but this person definitely wants you back. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups situation? We have the Justice card. Yeah, they definitely don't feel complete without you. They feel like their life is lacking contentment. Their life is is full of, you know, karma. They may be they may have gotten a lot of karma for leaving you. They ha may have went through a lot of bad times for leaving you. And we have 6-6. Six, six. So 6-6 six, six is unconditional love. It's having faith that you're gaining your healing. Having faith and trust that it's all going to work out for the best. And I feel like this person is trusting that, you know, the truth comes out. That you see them for how they are now. That the karma doesn't come back to bite them. You know, I, I feel like this person really wants to gain your trust. Yeah, definitely. The magician. They really want to gain your trust. They really want a new, fresh beginning with you. You know, I feel like this person has taken all the steps. They've, you know, taken the chances. And now they want their beginning. Very interesting, Leo. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's take some oracle cards. What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know, Spirit? Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Okay. We also have faith, humanity, and benevolence. 
stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. So yeah, I feel like this person wants you to see their light. They want you to really feel that they're here for you. That they're here to, you know, be your helpmate, be your support. Be what you needed them to be at the time. You know, I feel like, you know, if if this is someone who's coming back, if this is an ex coming back into your life, I feel like they really couldn't be who you wanted them to be at the moment. Um, but I feel like they're ready for that commitment. They're ready for that commitment. They're ready to come back. We have strength and guidance. So Leo, trust your inner guidance and have strength in the situation. I feel like you also have healing energy to guide you through this situation. Um, I feel like spirit is going to let you know if this situation is good for you or not. They're going to let you know. You just need to look in, into yourself. Look into your star, Leo. And open your inner unicorn. <laughs> you know? Look for acceptance. Okay, Leo. Okay, if you will, go ahead and ask a question. And we'll see if we can get the answer for you. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like. Um, to ask your question. Okay. Spirit, what do we have for Leo for January 15th through the 31st? What is the answer to their questions within the next few months? You may not be ready for this. It may take you some time. You may be testing this person to see if they're real. You may be putting this person through some kind of test to see how loyal they are. Um, but it's also telling me that, that you should remain positive, Leo. Have a positive perspective. You know, follow your inner guidance. Okay. Leo, if you'd like to, go ahead and ask another question. We'll see about the answer. You can pause the video if you'd like to. Ask another question. Okay, we have take charge and action. So, yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. And we have forgiveness and understanding. So, Leo... You know what? I'm going to take some romance cards. Let's see what this person's true intentions are in this situation. I want to know what this true what this person's true intentions are in this situation. Tell me about this person who's trying to come back into Leo's life, spirit, camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past make memories so i feel like yes this person is definitely learned from the past this person is reminiscing they're you know caught in these memories of you they can't get over um what's going on or what you know what they've been through and i feel like they're in love with you leo they are so in love with you Tell me more about this person that's coming into Leo's life. One more card, Spirit. Tell me about this person that's coming into Leo's life. Karmic relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, I feel like this person may not have been able to fully open up to love you because of some kind of karmic feelings that they were going through maybe they were holding on to resentment maybe they were holding on to certain triggers that just didn't make them you know open to love at that time but i feel like this person is looking at your photos they're missing you so very much they're thinking about you and they want to make new memories with you very beautiful energy you know, Leo, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. 
and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clear your situation and leo many blessings to you until your next reading love and lights